dudas. Hey, what is going on guys? It's Jake and it has been quite a long time since I put out a video, just about a month or something like that. I'm really sorry for that. I've been super busy with school and all that crazy stuff. So last time my video was a, a Merry Christmas video to you guys and it was a, a snow unity scene that I put together that I had a really fun time with. So we're going to show you guys sort of how I did that, just the basis. We're not going to get into all the objects and the general scene creation. We're just going to show how a, a, a great way to do snow in your terrain. So the way I did that is... I, it's through the ATS Snow Package by Forced, and you can get that on the Unity Asset Store. It's completely free, and you just download and import it. I've already done that. As you can see, I have a little tutorial scene right here to show you guys sort of how the snow works. So basically, it will give you this folder. It will be a 0000, 000, 000 terrain snow. And it will give you all these folders. You'll get a demo scene, so it will show you sort of what it does. And what we don't, what we want to go into is this ATS version 3 Unity Terrain Snow, and they have a scripts folder. And you're going to take this custom terrain script and drag it onto whatever terrain you have. Okay, and now if you've seen my older videos, I have the terrain toolkit. So I've just put together a little scene. Now, if you're going to do this snow, you want normal or bump, you want normal maps for every single one. Uh, of your textures that you're putting on your terrain. So I have my cliff and my cliff texture and my three other ones. And you can, if you want, you can just use the ones that are in the demo. Uh, you just open the demo folder, go to terrain textures, and you have them in all their normal maps. So you could just put those in their proper places. So this is going to be your first, second, third, and fourth texture. So you're going to drag the custom terrain script for snow which uh, as I just said is located in the scripts folder in the ATS unity terrain snow folder so you're just going to drag that right on there and you want to a uh, align these bump maps with your actual textures that you have on so for a um, my cliff texture which is a you could call it texture zero it corresponds to my bump zero texture and same with a um, this sand texture, and this sand texture, and this grass texture. So they all correspond, and you want the correct bump maps. If you don't know how to make a bump map, um, I'm pretty sure I have it in one of my terrain tutorials. I'm pretty sure it's a, the bump mapping terrain tutorial. So you can go check that one out. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So once you have all of that set up, uh, you first of all just want to um, make sure the script is actually activated and you want to go to the snow texture because it's not going to be it's not going to have a uh, subject in there and you're going to put the snow underscore snow distribution so I'm pretty sure if you just search snow underscore snow distribution just click that and put it right in there and that's the snow texture that's going to be using so once you have that there are several values in here that you can see. You have a, uh, your terrain size. Don't change that because the default terrain size is 2,000 by 2,000. So you can just leave that the way it is. And this, these snow power texts, 0, 1, 2, and 3, all correspond to the textures that you have in your terrain. And it just basically is going over the intensity of the snow in a, uh, based off of those certain textures. And the snow amount is how much snow you're going to have. So if I just drag this a uh, down to zero, you have no snow whatsoever on your terrain. And then if I bring it back up, you're going to get snow. And you can really see the way that the snow is formed. So if you want just like a lightly snow brushed landscape, you could leave it at that. But if you want like just full snow, you can do that. But I think it looks really good if you just have most snow, but then just leave a little bit of patches. And so you can still see your terrain that looks really high quality. And you have the snow start height, and this is a, a, uh, a value based off of how high your terrain is. If your terrain is 100% flat, that's the zero height. Okay, so if you want to make sure that snow is going to be on your terrain, 
you want it set at zero. And now let's say my terrain, I don't think my terrain's higher than 500. So if I set 500, that means that snow is going to start at 500, but my terrain doesn't exceed a height of 500. So you don't, of course, see any snow. So I, uh, I have a couple of friends who tried to do this and um, they were like, Jake, why the heck doesn't this work? And that's the problem. And a, uh, so that's basically it. And then you can add all your trees and stuff and whatever you want. And you can even use the default snow particle effect that's in Unity. A, uh, and you can actually make that a child object of your main camera or your first person controller or whatever you're using. And it will follow it around. So it'll look like it's snowing over the whole map. But in retrospect, it's only on your character. So it just follows them around. So that's another cool thing that you could do. And just one more thing. Um, in my old tutorial on bump mapping terrains, I had you guys use a material a, uh, that allowed for normal maps on your basic textures. You do not want to use this if you're going to have snow. Because, for example, if I put in the, one of my terrain materials, you will not get snow because then it interferes with the shader that is implemented with this script. And that's something that you don't want, and that's another problem that some of my buddies have run into, and that one actually took me a while to figure out. Sometimes it's just the simplest problems that pose the biggest difficulty. And so, yeah, that's basically it. And then you can just adjust your snow, and it looks really cool, and you can do it really however you want. And, guys, that's pretty much it. It's just quick and easy, just something to do. Sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I want to do some more videos. I've just been super busy. I know for a fact that once a uh, summer rolls around, I'm definitely off of school. I'll be able to upload more and a, uh, put out a lot more content for you guys so i'm super excited gonna do some maybe gaming videos with my friends i don't know i know i said i would but i'm just not really sure how things are gonna go down right now but so yeah this is basically it so far and a uh, thanks for watching and have a good one guys see ya